Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Leah. Good morning, Teresa. Yes, it should record. Hey, Dr. Michelle. Hey, Anna. Hey, Vet. If you guys would just post here where you're watching from. And I'm actually finishing doing my makeup, if you can imagine. I thought I would finish doing my eyes uh, while you guys are coming on. Hey, Wendy, how are you? Good morning. Hey, Kim from Texas. Yes, if you would say hi and tell us where you're from, Memphis, Tennessee. I love it. Okay, I hope I say this right. Nukoki Ying from Central. Oh my gosh. Chrissy from New Hampshire. Carly from Atlanta. Good morning, Gabriella from Atlanta. Hotlanta. I'm just finishing doing my eyes. I was working out and then watching the boys because they have their virtual school on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it's kind of crazy around here. So we're just trying to like juggle it all. So today we're going to talk about lips, just some lip tricks and some of my favorite colors. And we have so many new lip glosses coming out. Super excited to share with you about that. Good mornings from Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan. That is the tongue twister. Hello, Sandra from Melbourne, Florida, and Lee from Fresno, California. We've got Helen from Chicago, Miss Nicole from Miami, 305 in the house, Karen from Indianapolis. I love seeing all these beautiful people show up from everywhere. And is anybody um, in, from Louisiana or, or Texas where Laura is hitting? Is everyone okay? What's going on? Oh, do I ever feel for those people? Because living in Miami, we have um, we have hurricane scares all the time. So it is, I totally, you know, get the fear and the unknown of this natural disaster heading your way. And it's like one minute, it looks like it's going this way. And the next minute, it looks like it's going over here. And the cone can be so big. And it's just it's horrible. So we're praying for all those people that are undergoing Laura right now. May God's hand be with you. Um, oh, Jennifer from Miami. Good morning. Whitney prayers for everyone in the storm area. Exactly. Good morning from Long Beach, California. Yes, we pray that the winds back down and the rains because it's all bad. You know, a storm can have a lot of water and water can give so much damage or it can have a lot of wind. So it can go either way. I'll never forget um, Andrew. Um, when I was in junior high, Hurricane Andrew hit and it was a stage five hurricane and it literally wiped out people's homes. I mean, devastating. I'll never forget. We evacuated. Um, we couldn't find a hotel to like North Florida, almost in Tallahassee. And we stayed there for a few days because my mom was pregnant. And it wasn't, you know, she was almost due because Taylor was born in August. This is my little brother and um, she was pregnant. And so, um, you know, it's not good when you're close to labor because that much pressure can put you into labor. So I'll never forget evacuating. It took us like, I don't even know, it was like 15 hours to get to like Tallahassee. And then we waited it out two days and then we came home and our house was completely devastated. Like we had to live in a different home for six months. We had wood floors and they were buckled. We had people's pictures in our living room. We had fish. We had a little boat in our living room. I mean, all the windows, trees down. I mean, just devastation. So I completely know and feel for people that have gone under natural disasters. It's, it's awful, 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 awful. Okay. So I'm going to get back to this. Sorry. I'm gonna do my blush and then we'll start with lips. I just thought it'll take a minute for everybody to come on. I am using what blush am I using right now? Um, sunny spice old one, but a goodie. One of my favorites. Hey, Tanya from Buffalo and Deanna from Missouri. Tanya, good morning. How's everybody doing? I know we're all kind of sick and tired of the whole um, quarantine thing. Hopefully we will be getting back to somewhat what we call normal soon. Um, I know most of our kids are either at home during virtual school or back in school. It seems like most of the private 
schools or private Christian schools have more of those options where that they can go, but most everyone is probably on virtual. So I hope that's going well for you, especially if you've never desired to be a homeschooling mama. Um, I know that I have never desired that, but I always respect and look up to women that do. Um, and if you have to do it, you have to do it, you know, but surprisingly, my kids have, they all wanted to go back to school. They all wanted to go back to school. They love it. They don't care if they have to wear a mask for, um, you know, six hours. We just make sure they have a soft um, mask and it's breathable. And the school is doing such a great job. Literally, I pull up. They take their temperature. They wash their hands. Um, Addison goes to school Monday through Friday. And they have this, um, like, plexiglass across from her desk. So there's only two kids sitting there, one on each side. And, you know, they give them breaks. Um, and then the boys, the middle school and high school is so big that they don't have enough room for everybody to be six feet apart. So they do a hybrid. So my boys are there Monday and Tuesday, and then they're home Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And it's, they're doing a great job. This is our third week. And um, I can't complain. I can't complain at all. It's awesome. Um, hi, Sherry. How are you? Good morning. Thank you so much, Tanya from Buffalo. So post here if your kids are doing virtual or they're actually in school. And I think, you know, either way is fine. Whatever works for you, you know, and I feel like so many businesses are being flexible with people working from home. Um, and so, yeah. So anyway, we hope everybody is doing great. Just gonna lock in my color. Have a little casual look going on here today because we've got, um, I've got someone helping me, like a handyman helping me around the house. I've got the kids at home, just finished my workout. And so, um, hey, from Puerto Rico. Hello, hello, hello. You guys know about hurricanes, don't you? Wow. Okay, so we are empty nesters doing your work from home. Awesome, Tanya, that's awesome. That is a fun phase. Okay, you guys. Well, today we're going to talk about lips and some tricks and things like that. And I tried to pull together some of my favorite um, lip liner, lipsticks, and new glosses. So bear with me. Um, I will tell you that my daughter frequently comes into where my makeup is and takes things. So there's a few things that she took that I didn't know she took. And it was some things I wanted to share with you. But it's all good. It's all good. So anyway, um, our lips. Our lips now our lips are covered a lot because of the mask um, so that's the one good thing like if you haven't done a lot of makeup like I know I drop off the kids with no makeup and it's kind of nice because I put on my shades and then I put on my mask and literally that's it like nobody sees you so if you didn't put makeup on and you're going out it's kind of like you can hide behind the um, mask and the sunglasses. So I think some of us are happy about that, that are just like winging it, going to get gas or running an errand or going to Target or whatever. We're like incognito, right, um, with our masks. But at the same time, I think it's so important since we are wearing masks to take really good care of our skin right now. And so today I wasn't gonna talk about skin, but I do wanna just touch on that for a second. Um, because skincare is so important right now. I always say that if you're going to buy anything for Mary Kay, it's skincare. If you're gonna buy anything for Mary Kay, it's skincare because we are known for incredible skincare. And if you've ever met somebody that has used Mary Kay for over 10, 15, 20, 25 years, their skin is flawless. And to be honest with you, I think they look 10 years younger. Um, and so our skincare we are known for, um, we spend millions of dollars reformulating our products. Um, we only put out the best and many of our skincare lines um, are even approved by um, Good Housekeeping, which means that they're backed by the government everything is 100% satisfaction, customer guaranteed, and pretty affordable prices. So if you are not on a good skincare regimen, you've been using it for 20 years, awesome. I bet your skin looks amazing. Greetings from Ger Germany, Anika. Hello. Um, so, and, and like at different times in our life, we need different skincare. At different times in our life, we need different skincare. So if you are going through adult acne or you are breaking out with the mask or your kids are breaking out the clear proof is hands down the skincare line you want to use you know and my son it's so cute because he now has a girlfriend 
whole nother story. Um, yeah, that's been interesting. If you've got any tips, guys, on raising adolescents or if you've already done that, you can DM me over at Daisha Lee on Instagram. I definitely need all the help I can get because transition has happened. Um, yeah, I'm so glad I work from home because I can watch everything. 33 years using skincare. Awesome. I'm sure your skin looks great. Um, and so anyway, he's using the clear proof. And before I said, honey, you want to take care of your skin? You know, girls are going to look at your skin. Well, now he cares. And he's using the clear proof morning and night. And his skin, I'm telling you, when he uses it consistently, it just clears right up. I've got some of my daughter's friends on the clear proof that are breaking out here, especially in Miami. It's very humid um, and people tend to be a little bit more oily. And especially if you have a more Latin background, um, you can tend to have more oils in your skin. Um, and so it's so important to take care of that acne because that acne sitting on your face can scar your face. And it's so crazy because you guys, I had peaches and cream skin all my life. And when I started breaking out, it was like my senior year and it was college. So it must've been hormonal. And so one of my fears with starting your AK was that I didn't feel like I had the best skin because I was having cystic acne um, all here. And so that was one of my fears of starting Mary Kay. So what I found out was I was causing chemical, chemical warfare on my face by using all kinds of different lines of products. So I would use, you know, Estee Lauder's cleanser and Clinique's moisturizer and this one's foundation and go to CVS and get this. And it's like, my skin was confused. I wasn't using the same line of cosmetic. So this is true story at 22 when I started using all of Mary Kay. And, and I mean by skincare foundation, most important, your cleanser, your toner, your exfoliator, your moisturizer, your foundation, all needs to be from the same line because if not, you're going to cause chemical warfare on your face. <laughs> and so they all don't talk to tell each other what's in each other's products. And so whatever you do, you want to use your skincare and foundation from the same line. If I could teach you anything from my 18 years of skincare and beauty specialist being a beauty influencer, it's using the same line of products. And I will tell any new customer or anybody who comes my way, if you get anything from me, it is skincare and foundation. And that is where you want to invest your money because you cannot buy new skin. Okay. So if you're having troubles with acne, get on a clear proof regimen. If you just want an everyday good age fighting program, get on our 3D, our 3D skincare, which it's 110. Seriously, less than 50 cents a day on your skin comes with the cleanser, which cleanses, exfoliates, refreshes. You've got your day and your night cream and your eye cream all packed together. I, I use that up until this past year. So from 18 to 40, I use the 3D system. And then after 40, I started on the big guns, which is our repair line, um, which is more of like a medical grade repair um, with retinol. So if you want to really reverse 10 years back and build the collagen and really thicken the skin and, and really work on that stem cell turnover, then you want to get repair. Okay. So again, if your consultant invited you on, make sure that you see her and tell her, Hey, Tisha reminded me, I need to take care of my skin. I'm wearing this mask. It's crazy. And you know, the, the transition between summer sweating to now fall, our skin can go from really oily to dry. And so it's so important to moisturize and just keep that skincare line the same. I wish I could get my youngest on it. She does the same thing. Yeah, no, I know. Like, I think this day and age, people like switch on a dime. They're not as loyal to products and shame on them because the thing is, it's only hurting their skin. So anybody I know that's breaking out, I'm like, first of all, stop touching your face. You need to drink a lot of water and we need to get you on the same skincare line um, because, yeah, so we as beauty consultants know what to do. If you don't have a beauty consultant and I invited you on, please DM me and I will, um, you can send me a picture of your face and I will tell you what you need to use. We also have customized products where like, you know, I'll use the repair line, but like every other night I might use, you know, a product to even and tone my face, which is a different supplement. So I'll add in different things. So um, as beauty consultants, we know what's great and it's just awesome. Hey, Dr. Michelle from Charleston um, and Lisa, you love the time I repair. I know, isn't it great? And it's so pretty. It's such a pretty blush color. So again, I went on my little rant about skincare. If you're not on skincare, you need to get it. Um, so really, really quickly, you guys, I want to go over some of my favorite products. So um, any of you have dry lips or, you know, you have that, um, 
what, what should we say, like, you know, dry lips or skin on the lips, or you feel like your, your lips look rough or your lipstick is not going on as smooth, um, or you want those like baby fresh lips, well, satin lips is for you, you guys. And I'm actually going to, um, while I'm talking about it, I'm going to put some on. Um, this is our satin lip scrub, and I, you can use it every night or a few days a week. But my kids even use it, especially my daughter, because she's got really large kind of lips, which is really nice. Um, but her lips, she's like a mouth breather. So she always leaves her mouth open, which I did too when I was little. So you just take this and you rub it all over. Okay. And you're just going to leave it on. And it's like a sugar scrub. Okay. And to tell you a little bit about this, you guys, this satin lip shea sugar scrub gently exfoliates to soften and smooth and polishes your lips to perfection. It has a shea butter that deeply moisturizes and leaves them feeling nourished, okay? So um, what you're going to do is just put that on. You can even put it in the shower and like finish all your things. And then you're going to take a moist, dampened rag, okay, like this. And you're just gonna do circular motions, okay? And it's gonna get rid of all that dirt and grime and dead skin and just really like plump up the lips. Now, my daughter took the lip balm. She took it, it's in her book bag, I know, because I looked for it today and it's nowhere to be found. So this set is 22, you guys, and it comes with the exfoliator and the lip balm, okay? So you get both products for 22. So if your lips are dry, if your husband's lips are dry, if um, your kids' lips are dry, especially if you live up north and you've got that winter season and your lips are chapped or if you're skiing, this goes with us. Now, I normally have the lip balm, but my daughter took it. That's how much I like it. I normally have one by my bedside and one with her, but she took it and I need to place an order and these things go like hotcakes. So just know that it's two things, okay? But instead, I'm gonna put on our new pH balm, which is insane, you guys. And it just... Uh, moisturizes your lips so like let's say you're just uh going out the door to run an errand see how it just like brings up the ph in your natural lip color so whatever your lip color is it brings out that natural hue of your lip so it's kind of like a chapstick but it's moisturizing and again it gives you like that baby doll tint like that baby soft pink lip which makes your lips look youthful because as you age you get cracks you get lines you know, you don't have that that soft pink hue. And so you really, really want that because that shows youthfulness, okay? So again, if you have dry lips, get the satin lip set for 22. It comes with a scrub and the lip balm, which again, my daughter took because I don't have that to show you, okay? But then again, we've got this new pH, so awesome. And then you can just put it on and moisturize your lips. So those sets are awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, now what I will do if I'm going to put on a lipstick, um, a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lipstick is I'm going to prime my lips. And if you do not have a lip primer, you are missing out. Um, this fights fine lines and wrinkles around the lips and helps the lipstick to stay on. So if ever you're like, um, my lipstick doesn't stay on, it feathers, it goes into the cracks, um, this is a game changer. So literally, I will just uh, put it all over my lips and a little bit on the outside, all over. And like, if I've got an event or I'm talking and you know you're in front of people, you know how you like drink coffee and this and that, and then you see all the feathering and the lipstick go away. Well, when you have this, it lasts through it all. It's awesome if you don't have it, especially after 30, you start getting those fine lines. The first area, to wrinkle on a woman's face is underneath her eyes and her lips. You can tell a woman's age a lot of times by underneath her eyes and her lips. So you want to take care of your lips, you guys. Big time, big time, big time. So lip primer, got to get you one of those. And then, okay, lip liners. We're going to talk about lip liner, why you want lip liner, what my favorite lip liner is. And um, our lip liners are $12, super affordable. Um, it contains age-finding ingredients, including an antioxidant, um, called, this is a big word, diplotil, you know, I'm not even going to read it, whatever. That helps you protect elastin and it has vitamin E to protect the lips from free radicals and environmental damage. It's long wearing 
and it nourishes and protects the lips and it keeps them looking young, young and voluminous. It prevents lip color from feathering and bleeding and it's water resistant and moisturizing. So if you're going to get any lip liner, if you're going to get any one, like we have tons of colors, red and berries and soft nudes and pink, medium nude all day long, medium nude. If you can buy one lip liner, this is what you're going to buy goes with everything. Like literally it's my go-to. I have like one in three places, one in my makeup drawer, one in my cosmetic bag and one in my purse at all times. Okay. So when you do your lips, you're going to make a V at the top. It's hard to see in here. My lips are so soft. Okay. You can also just fill this in too and just have it matte. Like if you want your lipstick to stay on really long, you can just fill in your entire lip with it. Okay. So you're going to do your lip liner and then I'm going to show you guys three lipsticks that I love. I love all of our lipsticks, but I'm going to show you my three go-to's starting with a very neutral color. And then I'm gonna do like a rosy every day and then like a red. And then I'm gonna be taking it off with none other than our oil-free eye makeup remover, which is the bomb.com. If you don't have this, you're missing out on your life. Like you don't even know what life is. This is the bomb, like the bomb. Like you, you just don't even understand. Um, <laughs> um, so I use the medium nude. Um, I'll type in here just so you guys know, medium nude all day long. That is my jam, right? It's just what I like. It goes, but then again, there's other tones too. Um, you would be using, gosh, where did I put it? There's a berry one that's so pretty. I would use the berry one if you're darker, darker skinned. But I'm just for an everyday medium nude just goes with everything. Um, but I would use a berry. Um, what of your bronze skin tone? Yep, I would use the berry one for sure. Um, okay, so then what we're gonna do for a nude for a nude and what I use most every day, like my go-to. And by the way, I love our gel mattes. I love our gel matte lipstick. So this is um, Bashful You, just great every day. And it's just a nice nude. And you're just gonna put it on. And this is just a great nude. Looks good. And what I can do to kind of get it to pop or give it like a pearlescent, I'm taking the new Sheer Illusion. Hello. This looked like something that Mac and Chanel had that was double the price. And this is more moisturizing and beautiful. And you just put, put it right here. Just like that. Done. Now, what I cannot stand is when women do lip gloss and they put it on and then they go like 10 times. And I'm like, did you not want to wear lip gloss? Because now it's going to go away. <laughs> so my little tip for lip gloss is just a little bit in the middle. One, one, that's it. Okay. Because then you're actually going to see it. Isn't that pretty? It's just like a pretty nude every day. And so I'll show you guys what that set looks like. So these are our new lip gloss colors. Oh my gosh, they're amazing. Our new MK lip glosses. So hot, so beautiful. Can't even keep them in stock. This Friday, all of our beauty consultants can get as many as possible. I'm so excited about that. So anyway, um, this is our, these are the three colors that I'm going over today and they're $18 a piece. The Bashful You is what I'm using now. Okay. And if you have a favorite color, just post below. Um, and again, we have tons of shades, but um, I personally like
Hold on. I'm trying to get my face back, but I don't know why I'm not coming back. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Okay, I don't know why it has that thing over there. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's that color. So when I wanna change colors, okay, you know what? I'm gonna take a selfie with this because I wanna remember what this looks like. I know that's obnoxious, but that's what I'm gonna do. So I have it. So remember what this looks like and I can show you guys the color. Okay, my thing is like filthy. <laughs> you guys bear with me. I'm just keeping it real. Just keeping it real. I'm gonna take this off, it might help. Okay. Okay, let me hold up actually the color that I'm using. Okay, so remember that color. Awesome. Now to take off a lipstick, you can take the eye makeup remover and just, I'm going to remove it. Okay. Again, I can put a little bit more lip liner. And my lips feel so smooth. Okay, now I'm going to do one of my second favorites. You love gingerbread. I know gingerbread is so pretty. It actually looks really good on redheads and gingers too. So I do wear that. I'm really blurry. That's so weird. Let me clean this really fast. Hold on. I'm going to clean. Maybe I'm better now. I don't know. Okay. This is Rosewood. And I think when there's a woman that's like, I just need one lipstick that's good for day or night or whatever. Um, and I love this. So again, that's Rosewood. Just a good every day. I think it can look good in summer and fall um and with someone with darker it's still blurry that's so weird like am i blurry blurry it's not the lens okay hold on let me get hold on let me um text my assistant i'll just keep talking but okay so we'll get that fixed in a second. But can you guys see my lipstick at all, my color? You think it's in the focus. Hmm, interesting. Because I'm, I'm seeing myself clearly, so I don't know what's happening. <clears throat> There's a time lag. Okay, so anyway, this is the Rosewood. And I think that's great. Yes, must be the focus. It's the whole screen. Great. Okay. And then, um, so once I, yes, Gabby, it's out of focus, like completely, like I look blurry, they say. Oh, it could be the connection or the focus. I don't know, but it looks like I'm fine with the connection. Okay. We're just going to keep rolling. Um, I'm going to take off the rosewood. Okay. Now I'm gonna do a fun red. And so I love this red. It's a perfect red. I just absolutely love it. And nobody really talks about it a lot. And I just love it. So I'm gonna use the red lip liner. Okay, let me go back to the comments here, see if you guys are good. You think it's an internet issue? It's an internet issue, great. Oh gosh, okay, so what do we do? Do we refresh? Or go somewhere else? Okay, so now, because if you refresh, it's gonna just end the whole broadcast. Okay, 
Hopefully you guys can see me. It was an internet issue. Yeah, you're good. Okay, cool. So, yay. Okay, it's getting better. So, what I just went over was my three faves. So, basically, um, Bashful You, for, for me, and then, again, this is me. This is my opinion. Bashful You for every day is my go-to. I love it. Rosewood, I think, looks good on everybody. It can transition from summer to fall, and it looks great on everybody. And then Red Smolder is what I'm using now. And I absolutely love it. Um, Red Smolder is just a great, it's a gel matte. I am obsessed with our gel matte lipsticks. Like I said, we've got tons of lipsticks, but the gel matte is my favorite. It's creamy. It lasts. Even if I'm drinking something, it's not over drying. Like I love it. The other red that I really like is red stiletto. Um, for the fall, you know, as we're getting close to the holidays and we want to like jazz up a black outfit or we're just not feeling powerful. Like if you've got a powerful meeting or you just want to feel powerful online, throw on some red lipstick, girl, because you will feel like a million bucks. So red smolder is amazing. And um, the red stiletto. So those are great um, if you want to get that. And I hope I'm able you're able to see me better now. Okay, better. What are the eye colors I have on? Okay, so I have on today, see my beautiful little palette? If you don't have a good Mary Kay palette, you need one. I have today, first of all, I put Light Beam all over as my primer. Love, 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 love. And then I put um, Rose Gold from Lash Line to Crease. And then I did Cinnabar. Um, as my crease color. And then I did a little bit of sweet cream as my highlighter. And then I filled in my brows with Cinnabar. Cinnabar is my go-to brown. It's like game changer. It's, it's amazing. Um, but like, can we talk about this red? Like so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay. I'm going to take a picture with the red. Now my phone is out of whack here. Okay. Okay, so I've got the red. Cool. Did y'all like the red? You love the reds. My late husband used to call me Jezebel. Oh, so sweet. I love it. I have a problem finding a red that will not turn hot pink. Which red do you recommend? Um, well, like I said, for me, I'm the same way. I don't like reds that turn pink. I like true colors. Like I want more on the orangey um, red side. So I just feel like the red smolder is a great one that will not turn pink. And the red stiletto too has blue. It's like a bluish red, right? It's like a bluish red. So if you have more, um, you know, tan skin or more olive in your skin, maybe it won't turn as pink, but on me, I feel like everything turns pink and I don't want that. Um, so anyway, yeah, I feel like everybody needs a good nude, a good like pink, and then like a good red. So now we're, so if you wanna lighten a red, if you want to lighten the red, then I would use um, the Sheer Illusion again. So the new lip gloss and just tone it down a little bit. Okay. So now you totally toned it down with putting that Sheer Illusion. Sheer Illusion is your friend because it can tone down any lipstick and just give it like that pearlescent hue. Love. Love, love, love. And these are 16. Love all our new colors. They are insane. Check them out. Hello. You need like one of every one of them. Like I, I can't even pick my favorite because they're so awesome. Okay. So. Okay. Now we're going to take this off and I'm just going to show you some of um, the lip gloss shades that I really like. Okay, so again, the eye makeup remover takes off everything. It's the bomb. It takes off waterproof, water resistant, even stains off clothes for me. Eye makeup, you never want to go to bed with eye makeup on. I mean, that's just not good at all. Okay, so again, I could go back with my lip primer to make sure I don't feather and it all lasts medium nude. Okay. 
So some of my faves here. Okay, so I think these are just some great everyday lip glosses. So I love the Beach Bronze. I think it looks great on everybody. It's just a beautiful uh, beachy kind of bronze color. I think it looks amazing. So the beach bronze is one of my favorite go-tos. I feel like from the lightest skin to the darkest skin, it's just like a great everyday little color. Um, you know, even if you don't like a lot of sparkle, it's not crazy. It's really, really good. So I love the beach bronze. And then, um, Another go-to color that I think looks good on everybody, Fancy Nancy. Tuh, amazing. Just amazing lip gloss color. Um, kind of gives a really youthful, I think Fancy Nancy's name that suits it well because it just gives you like a youthful, like pinky mauve hue, but not like overly done. I've never seen anybody not look good in Fancy Nancy. I feel like it's just a great little soft, rosy pink hue. Again, very youthful, very youthful looking. Um, again, that 16, love that one. My lips are gonna be, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, we're gonna keep it going here. Oh my gosh, this one's beautiful. Unique mauve. Huh. Beautiful for fall. Beautiful. Yeah, if you don't know what to give a customer, fancy Nancy all day long. It looks good on everybody. This is just a mauve, a matte, pretty mauve. So pretty. Kind of like a rosewood gloss. I would say it kind of looks like a rosewood gloss. Really, really nice. Um, oh, this one's beautiful. My lips are going to be like so dry. Uh-huh. Every customer loves it. Okay, so this one is nude blush. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is one of my top sellers. I can't even keep this in stock, literally. I can't wait to order 10 million of them on Friday. It's going blurry again. Oh, so frustrating. Hmm. Let me get off of the Wi-Fi here. So weird. And my connection's on, so I don't know. Okay. Um, that one was the nude blush. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. I love it. So these were my um some of my favorite lip glosses right here. Fancy Nancy. Beach Bronze, Pink Ballerina, and Sheer Illusion. And a really good every day is um, just the nude blush. It looks so good. That nude blush just, just looks so good. It's just a great every day um, look. Hope you guys can see me. Okay, I hope you guys can see me. So anyway, this nude blush is insane. Am I blurry? You think so? Let me see if I move the light. Maybe if I move the light. Am I better now? It could be because there's too many people on Wi-Fi in the house. Yeah. I think like everyone's on Wi-Fi because all my kids are on technology for school. So that's probably what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one's awesome. Can you post here if you can see me or if I'm still blurry?
Um, oh, you know what? I want to try this berry one. So fun. This looks good. This will look good on everybody in fall, like such a pretty berry. So pretty. Oh my gosh. I love it. So this is the berry one. So again, these are our lip glosses, all brand new. Make sure you get them from your beauty consultant. If you don't have one, you can DM me. Okay. I don't know why I connection. It's like just spinning. doing that anyway I wanted to show you guys let me know when it comes back um some of the deals with the lips so for our lip connoisseurs our girls that want amazing lips softer lips I would get the satin lips with the lip primer so it doesn't feather with um you'll get a, um, a lip liner of your choice I personally love medium nude you'll get a lipstick and a new gloss and it's 88 so that is for our lip connoisseurs so um, let your consultant know or let me know if you don't have a consultant, we'll get you that. And then for our basic lip deals, you're going to get your lip liner, lipstick, and a gloss for 42 And then just for a natural lip, you're just getting um, a lip liner and the new lip gloss for 25 So I think those are great deals. So again, if you're a lip connoisseur, you get the satin lips. The lip primer, the lip liner, lipstick, and gloss are new lip gloss. If you want just basic lips, it's lip liner, lipstick, and gloss. And then we have our natural lips, which is just the lip liner <coughs> and gloss for 25 So those are all great deals. Um, I'm sure you guys can't see me anymore because it just looks like the connection is off. I don't know why. Oh, can you see me? It's just spinning, 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 spinning. I don't know if you guys can see me. So weird. I think it's because so many kids are using it in the house. Um, this is my favorite. This is my favorite, the nude blush. It's so pretty. Okay, guys, well. I don't think you guys can hear me. 